Hello everyone. My name is Chen Wang. I'm a staff engineer in Alibaba Cloud Database. In this video, I will introduce the PolyDB data lifecycle management and through experiments to show how to automatically archive the code data to the Alibaba Object Storage Service. Currently, the industry has been faced with exponential data growth year by year. It's important to get smart with its data storage footprint by understanding data relevance while keeping its business need in mind. Data archive is the critical part of data management, as it enables us to keep business hot data in high-cost, high-performance storage, as well as move less significant code data into cheaper storage. Traditionally, data archive was to move the infrequently accessed data to a low cost storage like offsite tape or disk to keep the data for a long period and for audit or compliance purposes. Over the last decades, with the rise of data analysis and machine learning, the need to access the archive data has become necessary for enterprise data mining and decision support. These requirements are much more easily met by Alibaba Object Storage Service. Comparing to the off-site tape and disk, Alibaba Cloud Object Storage Service provides industry-leading scalability, durability, and performance that can help archive and run analysis at a lower cost. This is the whole picture for the PolyDB data lifecycle management. Data in a database is usually relevant for a period, and a common way to handle such data is to use partition table and archive the partition data based on time. PolyDB can use MySQL native partition feature and let you divide a table into partitions based on column state or time ranges. PolyDB also enhances the partition table MDL log and decouple the DDL and DML operations on different partitions, so that make it possible to offer great performance and management benefit for archiving or purging code data. Instead of bulk insert and delete, they can simply move the data of partition out for archive or drop the partition when you no longer need it. Firstly, PolyDB provides data lifecycle management syntax to archive and per data for total cost of ownership and easy to use. And also provide rich policies, including drop the partition of code data or archive the partition of code data to the Alibaba Object Storage Service. Then PolyDB also support parallel queries on code data with multi-cores or multi-nodes. It can also take advantage of OSL computation push down ability to reduce the network cost. As the main well, PolyDB provides syntax to import or export data from or to the OSS storage. Now it only supports CSV format, but more others in the future. Let's show how you can efficiently use PolyDB to partition hot data and archive code data to Alibaba OSS. The solution works begin with PolyDB MySQL 8.0, 2.2.9, or later version. Firstly, you need to enable the code data archiving on the web control. Click the Enable button and the status of instance change to in changing configurations. Wait for a while and refresh the page. The status of instance will become ready, which indicates you can use the functionality now. We started this experiment by using MySQL command line client, and now we have a connected instance. Since different users have different maintenance time window, we provide a great event DDL to set the archive time period. It is highly recommended that the code data archive process should be happened during low peak business hours, and preferably no more than once a month. Here we create an event object to perform the archiving process every two minutes 
to demonstrate the functionality that is archiving the code data to low-cost storage OSS. Then, create an internal range partition table named cells and use column order underline time as a partition range key. We also create an archive policy named test underline policy that only keeps the latest three partitions and archives the left partitions to the OSS storage. Let's insert some test data to invoke the internal range mechanics, which can automatically create new partitions based on the inserting data. After inserting 1000 rows, we can show the DDL and see more than three partitions has been created according to the time-related data. We also provide two system tables, DML underlying policies and DML underlying progress in MySQL table space. The former is used to show the policies of all tables that need to archive the code data, and the latter is used to show the current archive status. Since the time period is two minutes, let's wait for a while and you can see the archive status from MySQL point DML underlying progress. After the archive progress has been finished, we use constar to check the data from the original table sales, which only left 84 rows and only three partitions left by showing the DDL, and a new archive table named sales underlying test underlying policy was created automatically if not exist with 916 rows of data and its OSS engine table with CSV format by showing the DDL. The total count of the original table and archived table is exactly 1000 rows. Come back to the Alibaba Cloud Management Console. We also can find the information of code data by clicking the code data archiving item. Now we can see the test point sales underlying tests underlying policy table with 39.76 kilobytes OSS storage space.